you know, mathematicians are always thinking. And you know what I'm thinking right now? Is that we can make patterns in lots of different ways. But I see a bunch of shapes up here. And it almost looks like a pattern is started. So I know that we know as mathematicians that we first, we study something. We really pay attention to it. It's almost like we're detectives again. And we think, what is going on with this pattern? And how is it going? So I'm going to study it. I know these blue shapes are triangles. I know the green shapes are circles. And the red shape is a a square, a special kind of rectangle. All right, so I'm going to now like talk through it. So we've got triangle, circle, circle, triangle. No, that's not right. Let me try it again. Triangle, circle, circle, square, triangle. Hmm, if it goes in a pattern, I probably should see what goes after the triangle over here. Triangle, circle, circle, square, triangle. I think it's going to be circle. Let's see if I can get that circle to move. Circle, circle. Do you agree? Okay, let's study it. Let's see. Triangle, circle, circle, square, triangle, circle, circle. What would go next? Yes, if we had enough room, I agree, it would be a square. Mathematicians, did you see what we did there? First of all, we really paid attention. We looked and we studied it and we went through the pattern and then we decided what would go next based off of what we already saw. You know, this is a great thing to think about no matter what we do, but especially with patterns. You know, I love how we were able to use the names of these shapes, too, because we've learned them, and so we can use them. You may be learning a little bit more about shapes soon. Good to see you.